welcome everyone to this live streaming so in this uh, tutorial uh, I'm going to talk about the fillet the scallop and the chamfer um, feature in Corel draw so so this is fillet or rounded corner this is scallop and then this is chamfer so um, Doing this one, uh, creating this, uh, this feature is good for borders, right? So, for example, you're creating a border for a signage or for a greeting cards. And, uh, and if you won't use this, say, for example, the fillet, because um, I can create, say, for example, I'm creating a, a border here, and then I'm just going to, you know, say, uh, say I'm going to round this corner like this that's the easiest way to do right well what if we want to to make it just this one right so I'm going to explain that right now so I'm gonna move into my to my diagram here first uh, but the first thing we have to do is we have to know where to get that that dialog box or that feature right so whenever you create a rectangle or a square uh, like this and then look into the property bar so you can see here that you have rounded corners scallop and chamfer corners right so with this with this uh, uh, settings here you can you can do you know options like for example here the distance between between or the radius of the corners if if you're doing a fillet or you, what you can do, you can also go to Tools, uh, Windows, Dockers, and then Corners. I'm not sure with the older version of, uh, of Corel Draw. I don't think uh, the name is Corners. Okay, uh, I think the name of the dialog box is Fillet, Scallop, and Chamfer. So let's go into the... Uh, we'll just uh, duplicate this... Uh, this... Uh, these examples here so for example here so in order to create the rounded corners on all the corners you just go to your shape tool and then you just drag this going to the right side okay and then uh, so for here if you're going to create another square here you can also achieve a circle sorry once again if you want to create a a perfect circle you click on rectangle and then hold down control and then you can create a perfect square and then say for example I want to make this a perfect circle I can just go to the shape tool and I can just drag this and then move it over there and now it's circle right but what if I want just uh, these two corners this one and this one here and I don't want these two so how would you do that so I'm just gonna create a rectangle here so 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 you can create that corners by clicking on the shape tool and then hold down control okay well hold down hold down control and then click on this one and you would know that that's the only thing that's the corner that you're selecting because that's black and then this one is not black right and then you can drag this to the right and you know it's that corner is the selected one and then say for example here I can also select this and then drag it like that okay but what if you have a star or a polygon right so you can still do that so you click on your star tool and then this is the star tool like when when you want to create 10 10 points you'll have 10 points so i'm going to hold on control again while creating a star okay so this is the uh, this is the number right so it's 10 points but if you want to make a star like this so that's going to be five so i'm just going to type in five there and it's going to be five Five points right so now say for example I want to I want to um, round the all the corners so I'm just going to uh, go to uh, you have to go here to the 
to the corners dialog box and click on fillet and then you click this is the radius of the and while you're changing the radius you can see like a preview of it say if I'm going to increase that that one increases right and then you click on apply and then let's go to objects like this one say for example you've got intersecting objects say for example like this and then of course <clears throat> if you want to weld that one weld it to make it one whole shape you would just select all of this and then you go to this option for weld right so weld is combine object into a single curve object so click on that so it's just going to be the boundaries right so you click on this and then you click on uh so same thing you click on the shape tool uh, sorry not shape tool you click here the fillet and then you can click on apply there so we want to increase it you go like this it's gonna make that say uh, one and then click on apply oops or you can still I think you can still go to your shape tool Oh, sorry, it doesn't do it anymore because it's a curve already. So mm, I'm just going to hit undo here. So once you're here, uh, click on uh, one radius and click OK. And it will say it will give you uh, like an error. So for example, here, one or more the edges were too short. So I think it's this one here and this one. So you have to change it. So it will give you a warning. So I'm going to do control Z and then I'm going to make this um, say 0.5 to make it smaller and there is still one object so I'm gonna control Z so I think 0.25 is is the magic number here there so now let's go to uh, to scallop so this is scallop I'm gonna move the text here so this is scallop. So I'm going to create a square or a rectangle. And then you can go here or you can go here too and click on scallop. Well here you can also click on the icon scallop. And then same thing if you click and drag here. Oops. Click on the shape tool I mean sorry. And then click and drag. You're going to create a scallop on all of the corners. Now if you don't want if you don't want if you just want this one you just hold on control and click on it and then go like this okay uh, okay so let's yeah let's make that all so we go like this for all okay and uh, the second one would be if you want to just do this and this one you hold on control and click on this and this one here I guess you can only select one at a time so you go like this oops sorry I was clicking on the wrong thing this one and then you can also do this okay and then uh, this one the same thing I did it with just one scallop, just this one here. Hold on control and then you, oops, it always goes back to rounded. So I go here and then click here. I have to click on hold on control and I go like this. Okay, so now let's go to the um, chamfer. So chamfer is just gonna put the text chamfer here so for chamfer I'm gonna create a square here or rectangle it doesn't matter and then if you select chamfer here you'll just go to the shape tool and you go like this right and then this one it has different sizes so I'll go create a rectangle 
and then hold down control I'm going to select this one and then I could click on chamfer here or, or you can do it here too and you can click a chamfer here and this one here oops hold on control again click here oops shape tool click here and then chamfer it so so that's it I'm just showing you the capability of Corel Draw in using chamfer fillet and scallop so this is going to be useful in border design and signage and uh, yeah so I hope you like my short tutorial um, if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and if you have subscribed uh, please turn on the notification bell so that you'll be notified if I if I have a new tutorial and I will see you tomorrow bye for now